Hello champ, I've got a question for you. Now, are you familiar with these formulas L times B and this? Half B times H? I'm sure you are. Those are formulas for calculating the area of a rectangle and a right angle triangle respectively. Now, the relative atomic mass of an element which is a weighted average of the masses of the atoms of the isotopes also has a formula. Isn't that beautiful? This is obtained by multiplying the mass of each isotope with its percentage abundance and summing them together. That's simple, right? Now, relative atomic mass RAM equals PA1 times M1 plus PA2 times M2. Let's take an example. X is an element which exists as an isotopic mixture containing 90% of 39x19 and 10% of 41x19. Now, how many neutrons are present in the isotope 41x? Calculate the mean relative atomic mass of x. Now, let's look at the solution. Now, A. Now, neutrons in 49x19 is the mass number minus atomic number. Remember, now, we have 41 minus 19, and that gives us 22. Now, let's look at the relative atomic mass. How do we calculate that? We have 90, open bracket, 90 divided by 100 times 39, close bracket, plus 10 divided by 100, multiplied by 41, close bracket. Now, that equals 90 times 39 plus 41 times 10, close bracket, divided by 100. Now, and that equals 3920 divided by 100, and that's what 39.20. Can we take another example to reinforce this point? Now, an element with relative atomic mass 16.2 contains two isotopes 16p8 with relative abundance 90% and mp8 with relative abundance 10%. Now, what is the value of m? Let's look at the solution. 16.2 equals open bracket. 90 times 16, close bracket, 100. Now, plus 10 times m multiplied by 100. The 10 times m is in bracket multiplied by 100. Now, moving on, we have 16.2 equals the open bracket 144 plus m, close bracket, 10. So what do we do? Now, we say 16.2 times 10 equals 144 plus m. What will we do? We cross multiply. We have 16.2 equals open bracket 144 plus m divided by 10. So moving on, we have 16.2 multiplied by 10 equals 144 plus m. Now, what do we do? We have 16.2 times 10, that gives us 162 equals 144 plus m. Simple and straightforward, we collect the like terms. That means we bring the numbers to one side and we bring the alphabet to another side. So, when we collect the like terms, we have 162 minus 144 equals m, and we have m equals 18. Now, the value of m is 18, right? So, what have we learned? We have learned that the average relative atomic mass is a ratio math problem. Now, it is the weighted average of the masses of the atoms of the isotopes. Also, it has a formula and it is obtained by multiplying the mass of each isotope with its percentage abundance and summing them together. Now, relative atomic mass RAM equals P multiplied by A1 times M1 plus P multiplied by A2 plus M2. I hope you enjoyed that class. See you next class. Bye for now.